Let me thank the fans here in Northeast Ohio, the Cleveland Cavaliers, owner Dan Gilbert, Coach Blatt, on an incredible season. You guys never gave up. You played with passion. You fought through adver adversity and through injuries. Thank you and congratulations. And now, for the Golden State Warriors, Joe Laco. Peter Gover, Coach Kerr, and this team. What a historic season. And now, you've been waiting a long time, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. With the 2015 Larry O'Brien NBA Championship, the Golden State Warriors. As Joe takes that trophy. Hello and welcome to a Sports Express NBA special. A review of the recently concluded NBA Playoff Finals, which saw the Golden State Warriors emerge 2015 champions after coming from 2-1 down to ice the series in six by four games to two. Joining me for that, of course, our in-house NBA expert, Buddy Oguntui. Well, Buddy, what a series. They swung back and forth until Game 3. It was 1-0 to uh, Golden State, and then it was 1-1, and then 2-1 to the Cavs. But from then on, Golden State won the next three games and emerged as champions of the NBA for 2015. Would you say deserved champions? Or would you say Cleveland Cavaliers over dependence on LeBron finally found them out? Well, DJ, I, I, I will agree with you that uh, the team that deserved this won it. Um, to win 67 games in a season, it's not um, it's, it's not it's not easy. Uh, we have seen teams uh, in the NBA uh, struggle to get to, uh, as a, as they call it, the the uh, the 500 average, which is winning out of the 82 games to get to win 41. It's, it's, mm. it's especially tough. I, and if you consider that uh, the Golden State Warriors play in the West, uh, where the, 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 the West is stacked, like they say, there are a lot of good teams in the West, and to to get 67 wins in, in that situation, uh, it's absolutely amazing. And so yes. Over the course of the season, the Warriors proved to be the better team. Uh, they, they, proved, they, they proved to be the, 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 the deeper team, the more resilient team. And so, yes, they are deserved winners for LeBron James and, and the Cavaliers. I, I won't exactly say that, um, they, they, that uh, the Cavaliers over-depended on LeBron James. I think that you can't give what you don't have. It's as simple as that. Uh, the supporting cast, as they, uh, as, as, or as they were, they gave it their best shot. We saw J.R. Smith uh, uh, come up big in some games. We saw uh, De, La, De La Vedova. He, he also uh, came up big in, 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 in some games. Uh, we saw Tristan Thompson, a key moment uh, during, during the playoff series. He also showed up big. But in the end, uh, if they needed to, to, to stretch the, the Warriors, it all, it all had to come down to the man that described himself as the best player in the world. Uh, because at a point in the, uh, during the series, he said, yes, we are, we are capable of winning it. I'm the best player in the world. And so mm -hmm. he put that pressure on himself. And as much as he could, he delivered until his legs gave way. All right. Uh, having said that, though, before we go on a break, um, let me ask you this. You were dubbed the king versus the baby face, baby face as a saint. Did it actually pan out that way over the six games? I don't think so. I don't think so, DJ. Uh, the king, yes, the king came to the party and uh, he proved to be the best player in the world, really, all through the series. Even, even, even when he was tired, he kept going. Uh, the baby face, face as, as I said, at some point, maybe it, 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 uh, it, um, it is because of the supporting cast that he had. Uh, so at some point, you didn't see him, but truth be told, when, when he needed to show up, he showed up big for the team uh, because he scored in double figures all, all through the series. And I think uh, it was in, um, it was in, in, in game five. And when, 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 when things were turning against his side, I mean, he put in 37 points, almost matched, the, LeBron. Almost matched LeBron James. I also feel DJ, that um, each of the players did what they had to do when they had to do it. Uh, because I do not think, honestly, that LeBron would uh, give you the same numbers if he had uh, if a fully fit career, even and, and, uh, and Kevin Love. Because you'll have to share the ball mm. with those guys. Uh, but as it, as, it, as, as it was, in the series, he was the, he was the main man for the Cavaliers, the main man in the finals, as it were. And so he had, to, he had, the, he had uh, the majority of the ball. If, if, uh, I keep saying, look, if you look, want to know how a game, how a game has, has panned out, look at the numbers. numbers yeah. At every point in time, LeBron James was shooting between 40 and 35 and 40 percent 
uh, f- of, of the total balls uh, that that, uh, that the Cavs put up. You know, if, 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 if you switch over to to, uh, to the Warriors, Stephen Curry was shooting between 15 and 22 percent. So you, because he had men around, I mean, because it seemed the team was deeper, he was sharing the ball more. So if the Cavs had the full competence of their players, the problem would be as massive as it was. Maybe, and maybe they would have taken it a, a lot longer. But I still think that the, the Warriors would have won it. Ultimately, the deeper bench, the deeper team, the longer line won. But maybe it would have been different for the Cleveland Cavaliers if some of their stars stayed fit all through the playoffs or all through the regular season among the set. We're back with a review of the Cavs after this. Downtown, and it's a 13-point lead. And when they force the switch, Mark, of a big on to Steph Curry, that's when he has been... James drives hard in, feeds Moskov, Moskov off the glass. Welcome back to this Sports Express NBA special review of the 2015 NBA Playoffs Finals. Of course, won by Golden State Warriors and six over the Cleveland Cavaliers. But let's take a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers. We talked a lot about LeBron James and his almost one-man show all through the playoffs. But maybe it would have been different if Andre Varejo injured during the regular season and then during the playoffs, they lost Kevin Love and they lost Kyrie Irving at the start of the uh, final series. So, do you think that it probably might be, have been a different story if these um, key players, two of them, all stars, had stayed fit? We, we will never know. Uh, it, it's, it's a game. It's a game of uh, ifs and buts. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 for, for the basketball purists, for, for those of for, for the romantic ones, on paper. Maybe, maybe not. For for each of, for, for whichever way, way you want to play the Valley House story, there's a flip side to it. Uh, for instance, Valley was injured; he didn't play. He's a veteran. Godala played; it was it was, it was a game changer in in in, uh, in some some of the series. Mm. On the other side, Leandro Barbosa is also uh, is also um uh, uh, it, it used to be a prime player. Uh, he, he was on the on the on the bench of the Warriors. We, we saw very very little of, little of him. So it's possible that Valley could have played. And have done nothing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the best time. But then, but then mm-hmm. again, you could have played, and, and and could have had the uh, the the the, the Gudala effect. Oh, as the it X were. factor. You could have been the X factor. But having said that, DG, let's also remember that um, Kariavin did play some of the games mm. in the finals, and in, and in some of those games, the the, the Cavaliers the Cavaliers lost. Now, but the, the player that we really are looking at has got to be. Uh, Kevin Love, Kevin Love, Kevin Love, as you know, is, is a big man that, that shoots from from outside. He will, he will have posted, he will, he will have, he will have been a, a post up nightmare for a lot for a lot of players. He will, he will have, um, he will have stretched the the Warriors' defense and maybe that will have given uh, a, a fit very how if if, if it's career been the chance to drive the lane mm. asking asking James mm. did and made mm. this series a bit more interesting. Uh, but I, I still do think that um, for a seven game series with the Warriors at home, which are probably going to seven, mm. and then maybe we have mm. seen a Warriors win, but. Like I, like I said, it's a, it's a game of ifs and mm. buts. All right, what's the future for this Cavaliers team? I think, personally, I think they overachieved this season, getting to the finals. I didn't think they w- would get that far. But haven't gotten there, haven't had a feel and a taste of it, haven't had more experience. All those other players, now they're more experienced. Do you think they're better equipped going forward to have another shot? Or do you think something is going on somewhere? Because uh, we hear somebody like Caleb is opted out of his contract. Is it the start of something good for them? Is it the start of... Uh, um, dismantling of this team. I, I think uh, the, the fans and the players have they, they have they have they have a taste of what what it's like again to play at the finals. Uh, before they've, they've not played at the finals uh, in the NBA finals in a long time. The, the franchise has suffered, but the players have have seen what it is to go deep in in, in the playoffs. I also think that that might be their undoing because now teams are going to play, play them play them differently next season. But having said that, we've, we have to wait uh, to see what, what, what kind of business they'll do in the summer. Uh, draft is, uh, is, 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 uh, is, is, on, is on Thursday. Uh, let, let's see what, what, what they'll get 
on draft night. Let's see the trades they'll make. Now they've seen some of their players. They've seen their limitations as it were. They've seen uh, how good some of them as, as, uh, they are as it were. They've seen some show flashes of what they can do. Now let's see what the GM and the coach will make of it. Yeah. Let's see what the, let's see the moves the, the moves they, they make. But one thing is sure: as long as they have the LeBron, Le, LeBron James, they have a chance. All right. So the king is definitely staying. It's not moving anywhere, we hope, or we think. <laughs> you never know with all the star players. After the break, is it the start of a dynasty? The Golden State Warriors have won one. People are saying they will win many more. Welcome back to this Sports Express NBA special review of the recently concluded NBA Playoff Finals. It's the Champions Golden State we're going to talk about now, buddy. It is a very young team. It's a very talented team, very deep, um, very very lengthy. They have a lot of depth. Is this the start of a dynasty? Maybe the, uh, because, um, like you, like you noted, um, they've won it this year. It's the first time that the franchise will win in yes. 40 years. They have a young coach. Mm. Um, uh, and Steve it, it, it's Steve Kerr. He's, he's played on, under some excellent coaches. Uh, but Jackson at, um, at, uh, at uh, Bulls and, uh, and Pop at Spurs. He won at, at both franchises. Um, he, 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 he obviously knows what to do to get a team to a championship win. He promoted the, the team ethos all, all through. More importantly, DG. Um, they, they have a team that the core of the, that the, who's, who's, um, whose players, the college of the players, is in the mid twenties. Mm. Uh, so which may, uh, they, they can still play four five years together. Yeah. Uh, all, just like the like the um, like the Cavs, they also have to do some business in the close season. Now they have, they have, they've also taken a look at, at at their players. They know um, uh, th those that they, they, are, they are going to trade. They know the, they, they know the places where, where they need to strengthen. Uh, more importantly, they they are playing in the West. And any team that can get home and home, home court advantage in the West will likely win. Mm. So I think what they need to contend with most now are the other teams in the West. In the West, yeah. The Mavs are going to are, are going to retool. Houston Rockets have, have, have it. It is of it. They, 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 are also, they are also believe there. If the Clippers stay together, you they're going to be can, a threat. You never can write off. San Antonio, <laughs> San Antonio Spurs, they're always there or thereabouts. So uh, it's going to be a long season. Uh, if they stay injury free, if they play the same way they did last year with panache and with, and with belief and with confidence, and also don't, don't forget the, uh, the the Grizzlies and the and the and the Oklahoma City Thunder, mm, the, the, yeah, the, the, the West yeah. is stacked. So it, it all de de depends on what they do in the regular season and how they manage. If they get, if they get to the uh, if they get a, a good seeding, going to the playoffs, mm. then they, they might have a chance because they play good basketball. But, okay. but like I said, it depends on how the season pans out, how the West reacts to the win. All right, buddy, let's go to, let's close on this. Uh, is what I would like to call the MVP controversy. Of course, Andre Gudala announced as tournament, uh, the finals MVP, I beg your pardon. But a lot of criticism trailed that announcement because of the numbers that Serengori put up all through the um, the this series. What's your take on that? I must tell you, I, I was shocked when, because I mean, when, when, when they said the, the, uh, when, when they when they said this is announce, announcement for the NBA Finals MVP, I, I was twenty and shouting Curry. Then when when they, when, they, when the announcement went, this man didn't start the glasses game. I was like, huh? And then I had to go there. I was like, whoa! But you know, I've looked at the numbers really, DG. The, the number says Stephen Curry, but in basketball, there's it's, there's always an X factor, mm. without mm. any doubt. Iguodala has been the X factor in this series, yeah. but I also do think that um, Adam Silva is, is trying to make a statement. Last year, we, last, mm. last year we saw an unlikely MVP, yeah. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. This year we have seen, we have seen an, another unlikely one. There are a lot of changes that that, that Adam Silva is bringing forward now. Uh, there, there are rumors that um, uh, from next year, 
the players that de declare for the draft from college will likely be given a chance to go back. You know, in the past, once you mm -hmm. declare for the draft, mm -hmm. you can't go back to college. Yeah. Now, that is going to change. So, we are seeing a lot of innovation, innovations. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe this is the history of saying, look, yes, there, there are superstars in the game, but it's a team game. Let, let, me, let, let, me, let me play devil's advocate here. A 2-1 down, a 2-1 down, Andre Gudela had not, had not started a game before. Yeah. Game 4 was when he was inserted in the starting lineup. When he started to go small, and from, and from, that, from, point, from, point, from that point, they won every game. Won every and from game. that point, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, Warriors won every game. And from that point, it did look like he was able to limit, not stop him, limit LeBron James, James' impact on, on the offense. And he was also able to produce offensively for his team. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it was overall impact. It's, 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 yeah. it's, a, it's a valid point, because it's tough, mm. to, it's, it's tough to stop James. Yeah. But he did make life, life, life difficult for him. And uh, James, after every game, was tired. I was getting more tired and more tired. Mm. And uh, in the fourth quarter, you never see him. He yeah. just fades yeah. out. So uh, credit to Godala. But they did seriously. If you look at the Subaru impact on the finals, mm. it, I mean, ap apart from Curry, he deserves it. Godala, of course, born to a Nigerian father. Before we go, buddy, a honorable mention for another Nigerian on the winning team. Festus Ezeli, who played a few minutes in that game six, put up some decent numbers for the minutes to play, and indeed has said, I want to play for Nigeria. I mean, we look forward to seeing him at, uh, in Tunisia at the, at the, at the uh, Afro Basket, and uh, hopefully we'll put together a team that can complement his skills. Did you? After, after you have won the NBA Finals, you can't come, you can come and lose in Africa. Come on. <laughs> on that note, we'd like to bring this Sports NBA special to an end, a review of the recently concluded NBA Playoff Finals, which saw Golden State emerge champions. Are they going to win it again? Is it going to be a dynasty? Or will the other teams like what they said in the West, will they fight back? We wait and see. My name is DJ Motsu. My co-host has been Bordio Gutui. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Suffered that major knee injury, missed all of last season. He has had some big playoff moments here in these 2015 playoffs.